Bobby had um, a skiing injury when he was about seven or eight and broke his leg. Yeah, I was skiing with my dad. I was going down and he caught up to me and he like hit over me and I did like a somersault and my leg went a weird way. Bobby had undergone a growth arrest. He had uh, fractured his distal femur, which is the end part of the femur above the knee, and it was fixed, but the growth plate was damaged in the process. Unfortunately, if it happens when a child is young, it can lead to a very significant limb deformity. The distal femur, the one above the knee, is the most important contributor to length. If a child at the age of seven or eight sustains a significant damage to that growth plate, that can make a big difference in their ultimate leg length discrepancy. Not only do you get shortening of the leg, but you also get a deformity of the leg because one side will grow a little faster than the other. What also made Bobby uh, unique is that he was recovering and being treated for, um, for cancer at the same time. He had just finished cancer treatment, so for him to break his leg and then have such a huge break and such unlucky, you know, to be so unlucky like that, we, we, we really felt terrible because we thought, oh man, what more, he's six, seven, eight years old. So another doctor, you know, a whole nother procedure. That became a challenge. Uh, in terms of trying to time surgery, trying to figure out if surgery was going to be the right thing to do, given the fact that he was undergoing chemotherapy at the same time. And I worked very closely with his oncologist and with his mom, who um, is fabulous, super organized, super motivated. I, you know, this thing, when I saw this, at the uh, when we first came to the doctor's office, I thought, oh my god, this poor kid, this isn't just a cast. And we saw a kid, remember we saw that kid in the waiting room? Yeah. And Bobby was really worried that it was really going to hurt, because it looked, at that age especially, it looked really painful. But when we saw that kid in the waiting room, he was just sitting in a wheelchair doing his homework, and I kept saying, see, he's not even, obviously it doesn't hurt right now, you know? So he realized, you know, that it was, it might hurt in the beginning, but that it wasn't going to be an ongoing, you know, hurting all the time. And then when we came into Dr. Rosberg, when we first met him, he was so, he right away said, I know it looks terrible, my God, I know, but don't worry, it's not going to hurt, we'll take care of you. And he really treated Bobby as the patient, not me as the patient. You know, he, he went right to Bobby, which was really good and important to him because he's seen so many doctors over the years. He needed someone that was really treating, it was going to treat him like the patient. Kids are people. When I'm trying to bond with a kid, it's, it's pretty intuitive. You just, you treat them like, you treat them with respect, you treat them like a person. You don't talk over them, you talk at their level, and you keep them informed. Um, they like to know what's going on, they like to be involved. You be reassuring, joke around with them, make sure they know that I've got kids and that I understand the deal. Um, and, I, and I feel like I do. Well, when I saw him, he was like really nice, and he would take all the jokes because he had kids of his own, so he got me and like, Whenever like I, he, no one would really understand. He just like knew what I was talking about, and he would like try to do something about it. I did an osteotomy of his femur, and we lengthened and straightened his femur. What ended up being about um, eight centimeters, uh, which is about three and a half inches. And at that time, I was able to straighten his leg, he had had a valgus or a knock knee deformity, plus three and a half inches of shortening. And so I straightened his leg, I lengthened his leg, and I got him back to his equal leg lengths. He thrived during the process. He's just a great kid, very energetic, and has a, an inner strength that is remarkable because he has dealt with in his young life more adversity than many people deal with in their entire lives. And he does it with grace, and uh, with a lot of humor and with strength. He has resumed all of his activities. He plays football, he plays lacrosse, and he's just completely engaged in being a young boy and enjoying every moment of it. The other thing about Bobby is that 
he, since he's still a young boy, he is going to develop some additional leg length discrepancy. And so at the end of the day, this is going to be, by the time he is fully grown, he is going to develop additional leg length discrepancy. So there is going to need to be an, a, another surgery. When all is said and done, you know, he will have had about five inches of leg shortening that is going to be corrected in, in two surgeries. And, I mean, that's a huge difference in somebody's life. I mean, to go through life with a, a five-inch leg length discrepancy is tough. It's tough physically. It's tough emotionally. He's going to be a completely normal kid. He is a normal kid. All right, let's see that leg of yours. All right. Let's see. Bend your knee and straighten it out. Bend it again. That's great. You've got good motion in the knee. Tighten up this muscle. Good. Let's see. Lift it up. Good. Any pain? Nope. Awesome. Let me see you stand up. Okay, now turn to your side. Good. Now, turn your back to me. So, you know, he's a little low. So they're going to pick up a little bit of scoliosis. Here. Um, I'm messed up. Here. No, you're not. Yeah, but you're cute. No, you're not. Turn around. That's such an odd one. You're a ham. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll keep an eye on things. Yes. All right, buddy. And listen, I got part ownership in that leg. You take care of yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you wear your name on it. All right, get up. Oh, that's that the way you do it? Okay, we'll do this. Just go. Flex. High five. Oh, no, wait. High five. Turkey. <laughs> oh, pie. Moose. <laughs> Pounded. Octopus. Five. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then what was the third one? A pie. A pie. Moose. Right. So, 